Hey guys, okay, so this is gonna be a monthly favorites video and this is gonna be for the month of July and I'm crazy excited about this because I have like skipped the last, I think, maybe one or two months and I'm not gonna like ramble about my excuses and all that stuff because I know you guys just want me to get into it and I actually have gone shopping this month and I think what I'm gonna start doing is stop saying, see you guys next month, whatever, I'm gonna try to do all the months this year because I think that that is just basically what turned out jinxing me and that's why I haven't been doing it so that's my excuse but yeah can you believe that August is like literally right there doesn't that make it seem like September is like right here I completely forgot what monthly favorite it was that I um, included a Jeffrey Campbell pair of shoes of mine um, in it maybe it was the last one I did so like literally February but I've since ordered more and these shoes guys are Mm -mm. Like next level. I'm so excited about them. I have to show you so lo and behold my new favorite pair of Jeffrey Campbell shoes da, 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 da. They're cute right with this with the no heel and this is actually my first pair of shoes without the heel So I'm actually really really excited about them and I think that they look so cute like look at them I honestly don't know what um, this is called like the no heel thing someone on my Twitter I think they said hell razor hell riser hell bound some shit like that um, I don't want these shoes to be called Hellbound. Like, no, 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 no. We can find a cuter name. Anyways, I'll just give you a close-up of the shoe. There's basically kind of like, I feel like it's like crustaceans. Like, do you see like the stars and like, it looks like there's like sand dollars on it and stuff. I just love it. I feel like these are really, really edgy shoes. Like something like Lady Gaga would wear or something like that. But I think they're also really, really classy because, you know what I mean? They're all black and they just have a lot of gold. You guys know black and gold hardware is literally, shut the fuck up. Black and gold hardware is like my, I'm not going to say trademark because other people do it too, but it's like my favorite thing ever. And I think a common misconception in these shoes is that they're really hard to walk in. I'll be honest, I was a tiny bit skeptical when I tried them on. I was like, okay, they're going to feel a little bit different than regular heels. Um, they're going to be like, feel a little bit like more unstable or something like that. Or you know what I mean? These are six and a half inches. If I didn't already say that, no, I definitely did not say that. Um, they, I feel like they don't look six and a half inches because when I ordered them, I was like, oh, bomb, six and a half inches. And then I saw them and I was like, eh. These look like five, but they're six and a half, so watch out. But anyways, I thought that that would like add to like how uncomfortable they would feel or like how wobbly I would feel. I wouldn't be able to like wear them out or whatever because I'd always be like, whoa, whoa. But to be honest, they feel exactly like like normal heels. Um, and if you like close your eyes, I feel like you could kind of feel it, but like you really, really can't. If I had to compare them to any other heel, I would just say that they're kind of like a wedge. Because you know like when you have wedges on and you're like just bored or whatever, you'll kind of like balance on the back of them. Like put your foot, oh I'll just do it like this. Put your foot up like this and kind of balance on this. Like just like for fun or whatever. I've never fallen like that by the way. Fuck, knock on wood. Just draw like an imaginary line like this. Like I own some wedges that cut in. Um, so it's really not that outrageous. They just look crazy. It's like, oh my god, there's no heel in that. But that's enough rambling about that one damn shoe, but I absolutely love it. If any of you guys know the official name, I should probably just like check my receipt, but I don't know what they're called and I'm putting them in a monthly favorite, so that's kind of bad. But we're moving on to hair. And I have found a great shampoo and conditioner by a brand that I never really liked, which is like, I don't know, it's like astonishing to me, you know what I mean? That I actually like one of their products now. And this is Bumble and Bumble. And if you guys are fans of Bumble and Bumble, I really, really want to know because I just feel like this product is like, you know, a little bit more on the pricier side. I found it in Sephora, that's where I got these. Um, and nobody likes it. Like, it's like that high-end product, but like, nobody's buying it. Like, who is giving them money to make more products? Because I swear, nobody even uses them. So anyways, straight shampoo. Um, it says Start Smooth, and it looks like this. So yeah, I'll try to get the glare off for you guys. So yeah, kind of little container. This one's 250 milliliters. Every single time I see 250 milliliters, I think of a Minute Maid juice box. Like, really? I just paid that much for a Minute Maid juice box? So stupid. But I think when it's like a thicker consistency, it's different. If it's pure like juice, like Minute Maid juice, it's 250. But obviously this is more than a Minute Maid juice container. So it's like less milliliters. I don't know how that works. Sorry, I'm rambling now. And this is the conditioner, the exact same size bottle. Sometimes like products will do like uh, a smaller conditioner size bottle because you need less, but they didn't. And this one says quiet frizz on it. So all in all, they're really, really cute. They're really small though. That's my only thing. Like if I had long, luscious hair, you think this would last me more than three shampoos? No. And I know it seems like I'm trashing Bumble and Bubble, but this is actually a monthly favorite of mine. I've been using this um, shampoo and conditioner all month and I absolutely love it. It's It leaves my hair like cloudy soft. Like, you know, when you touch your hair and you're like, oh my God, it's like so silky, like so like 
poofy, not poofy, that's like the wrong word to use, but you know what I mean, like fluffy and like just so nice, like it is the shampoo and conditioner, like I'll blow dry my hair and I'll be like, oh my fucking god, like my hair is beautiful. Another thing about this is the packaging is so embarrassing, whoever is like at the packaging department of Bumble and Bubble it needs to be shot. Look behind the writing, it's like strips of B B B B B B B B B M M M M M M M M M L L L L L, it's just because it's the letters of Bumble and Bumble. Like, who thought of that? It looks horrible. Do you see that behind the writing? Just like strips of letters. Like, this isn't kindergarten. We don't need to know the letters. Thanks. And it's not something that pops out at you, but I swear I was in the shower one day and I was like, oh, no! Who did this? Okay, so one more hair product and then I'm gonna move on to makeup. This is called Marrakesh oil, Marrakesh oil, not Marrakesh oil, that's Moroccan oil. The person at the salon said that this was the brother of Moroccan oil, and I was like, okay, just let me have it, whatever. She was like selling my ear off for it. I was like, hey, put it in the bag, like I don't even care, just shut up. So it looks like this, and as you can see, it comes in like a cute little spray bottle, which I love, and this oil is actually really, like, relatively thick, so it's kind of weird that it's in a spray bottle, um, but I could get into it. It's one of those things where you can't like pump it for 20 times, you can just like do one, wait a bit, do one, wait a bit, or else it'll like clog, right? So just letting you know. <laughs> okay, to be honest, Moroccan oil is, okay, aside from Bumble and Bumble, I know people are using Moroccan oil, but I feel like for me, it's like, I don't, like I can't use that on my hair for like a long period of time type thing. Like, it will stop working for me, my hair will get greasy, it'll look just gross, and I'll be like, oh my god, it's the Moroccan oil. And then I'll like give it a bit, and then I'll go back to it, and it'll be fine. With this, I've used this all month, and it has really, really like transformed my hair. I feel like the difference for this is Moroccan oil is very oily, like it's like straight up tar slicked oil, put that on a road, a car will literally skid and crash. This is like more like a, like a cream, um, more of like a balm, if you will, yeah, and besides that, the smell! This smells way better than the Moroccan oil. Like, the girl told me that this is the brother of Moroccan oil. This must be the gayest fuck brother because he smells amazing and I'm loving it. And I swear, okay, let me tell you. So I was like buying food with my friend and like, in the grocery store, you know? I was like walking down the aisle doing my own thing and this woman was like, oh my god, you smell so good. And I was like, oh, thank you. And I was expecting her to be like, what are you wearing, right? And she didn't ask, so I was like, Thank you. And usually I'll say, like, even if they don't ask, I like, tell people what I'm wearing. Anyways, but we go over to the next aisle, and she's there again, so we pass her. I'm like, oh god, here comes perfume lady, right? So sure enough, when we pass her again, she's like, oh my god, I just got another whiff. I need to know what you're wearing. Could I ask you what it is? And I was like, yeah, let me just see, because I didn't, I honestly didn't remember what it was. So I looked in my bag just to see if I had it with me. And she come, oh, just comes, dives right in, dives right on in for a smell. Like, literally right here. Like, I'm like this, and all I see, like, right there, I'm like, Okay, so she's like sniffing and she's like, oh, no, 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 that's not it. Like, what am I smelling? She's like, oh, is it your hair? She goes, right, right up, yep, right, right on up there. But she was like, your hair, that's what I'm smelling, it's your hair. And I was like, girl, you just connected with me on a level I didn't think was possible in a grocery store. I'm using this new um, oil called Merkesh oil or whatever it's called. And I told her about it and she was like dying and she was like, where did you get? And I told her the salon, so... Needless to say, I'm best friends with a 60 year old woman now. But yeah, moral of the story, this shit is very, very powerful and it will leave your hair smelling amazing. Okay, so now I have two things of makeup and they're actually both by MAC and they're both lip products. And I know I said that I was gonna do like a full length, um, a full length feature film, a full length video on lip products. That's the word I'm looking for. And that is still coming. These two products were just like my holy grail this month, so I had to include them. So the first thing, we'll start off with something a little bit more casual. This is called the casual color lip and cheek color. And this came from a collection, I'm not sure which. Let me just first start off saying, I am the worst with MAC collections now. Like I swear like a few years ago, I used to be like, oh my God, this is coming out in October. These colors have been discontinued. They're coming back like being a crazy MAC bitch. But now I'm like, what's that collection called? Like I actually don't know. Someone had to tell me that a Marilyn Monroe collection was coming out. Like that's how bad I am. I don't even know when my bitch Marilyn Monroe is coming out with a collection. Something's wrong. So this is basically a lip moisturizer, uh, but it's also a cheek color as well, and it's like kind of like a lip color, but it's like really, really faint, so I wouldn't say that it's like a lip color that much. But anyways, it looks like this. This one's called Lazy Sunday, and it comes in a little container like this. I love the little jars like this for MAC. I think they're so cute, and they're like, I don't know. They're like fun to they're like fun to whip out throughout the day. But the color looks like this, and as you can see, I haven't even used that much because literally what I'll do is I'll circle my thumb like once or twice and then put it on because you really don't need that much. And this stuff, this pink is the prettiest pink in the collection. I think there was another like kind of orangey tangerine one that was really pretty. But this pink is super super blue, which I love for my complexion and my hair color, my eye color, everything. But it's super super like blue. Like it's like a very blue pink. You know how snob is very like not fluorescent, but 
a very cool tone blue, like, a, or, or sorry, a very cool tone pink has a lot of blues in it. I absolutely love it though, especially on like a natural day where I don't, you know what I mean, want to wear a lipstick, not saying that I don't, it's a hassle to wear a lipstick or anything like that, but this is just really, really cute. It gives you that kind of like plush, um, semi-glossy lip, which I absolutely am obsessed with. Um, and moving on, my favorite lipstick of the month is also a really, really natural one. Um, for natural days, I know I just said that I didn't want to wear lipstick. I mean, I used to be obsessed with Myth Lipstick by MAC, and that is like, the color of my skin, whiter, whiter than the color of my skin. It is like, I feel like it's almost like a Jersey Shore-ish lipstick, so I probably will never wear that unless it's for like a photo shoot or something like dramatic or whatever, but this nude is literally flawless and I have never owned it before, so I'm actually kind of excited about it. And it's a matte, hallelujah. You guys know I'm a slave for matte lipsticks. I absolutely love them. So this one's called Honey Love and it looks like this. It's just a creamy color, I feel like. Well, like, when I wear it, it's like a little bit of brown. Um, I wouldn't say that there's any pinks in it. It's very, I feel like I'm, like, examining it right now. I don't really wear nudes very often, so, like, it's very, very natural day for me to wear a nude, but I guess I've had a lot of natural days this month. I'm in love with Honey Love, um, and I always call it Honey Dew by accident, but it's a really, really cute lipstick. Um, I can't wait to do my lip products video, though. And the very last, but not least thing that I want to talk about in this monthly favorites, okay, I always, like, include something that's a little bit out there, a little bit not beauty related or anything like that, just because I think it's fun, and I think this is going to take the cake on the most random. Like, I've talked about candles before, I've talked about, I don't even know, but this is pretty, pretty random. So I know here on YouTube, everybody's obsessed with, you know, these birch boxes or some I think Birch Box is one of them. Just these boxes where you get free products and stuff like that. But I have found a new way. I have told you guys before that I love like editing and like making things perfect and stuff. So I am kind of nerdy. So this really shouldn't come as a surprise. And I actually heard about it through my cousins. They were doing it for like fun because they were like getting free stuff. So anyways, it's this website that like companies go to, I guess. I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. When they have like a new product or whatever and they don't know like how people are going to react. So they put out surveys and stuff, see if you're going to like it and then ship it to you for free and you actually get some money. So it's kind of like a cool way to like make a few bucks, if you will. But yeah, I was on it the other day or the other night actually. It was like literally 2 a.m. I was so bored and I was doing like a few surveys. You can like check the category you want or whatever and like just things that interest you and you're giving your opinion to them. So that's good. Um, and you're like getting free shit in return. So that's even more beautiful. And I actually have the website pulled up right now and I wanted to read you guys this thing. It says $10,000 quarterly prize draw for winners. So four times a year, they're going to, they're going to give away $10,000. So girl, Thank God I told you about this website. I think that they have also a lot of like um, improvements for their products. That's why they put out surveys like to the consumers and stuff like that. And then you get it for free. So what it do, boo? So that is all for my July monthly favorites video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know some favorite products you guys have been loving lately. And I'll try to go and buy those. I'll try to do another monthly favorites. I'll try to get around to it. No, I'm joking. August is actually a month where I think that I do a lot of my shopping. So... Hopefully I'll have a lot of new things and a lot of favorite things to show you guys. But until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.